Introduction to Lab 9, Latches and Sequential Logic Circuits. In this video, we'll discuss the difference between sequential and combination logic circuits. We will also take a look at some different latches. A sequential circuit is different than a combinational logic circuit in that its output depends not only on the present combination of inputs, but also on the past behavior of the circuit. There are two main classes of sequential circuits, depending on the timing of their signals. The first is synchronous sequential circuits. Their behavior can be defined knowing its signals at distinct moments in time. The second is asynchronous sequential circuits. Their behavior can be defined knowing the input signals at any moment in time and the order in which they change. The clock signal is a rectangular pulse train. It has precise pulse width and interval between pulses, called clock cycle time. Most sequential circuits change their state on one of the edges of the clock pulses, rising or falling edge, being referred to as edge triggered. Timing diagrams can be employed in digital circuitry to understand how the clock pulse shifts across the circuit. One of the simpler sequential circuits is known as a latch, an example of which is SR latch. It is a bistable element with one bit of state stored in Q. Its state can be controlled through the two inputs, S and R. The SR latch represents the basic element for most static memory structures. In this lab, you will be building different types of latches using logic gates and the provided chips as well as exploring their behavior. 